YouTube, what's going on? As usual, I am not going to be wasting any time with an intro. We're gonna jump right into this video. This is the universal how-to tutorial on how to overclock your GPU. Does not matter what GPU, this is how you overclock your GPU. And I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to do it clearly. Let's do it. So first things first here, we're gonna make sure that we download these two programs, okay? So you're gonna, you're gonna download MSI Combustor, which I'll link down below, and you're gonna download MSI Afterburner, okay? So you're, you're gonna download, download MSI Afterburner, download it, download it to your computer, then download the Combustor, okay? All right, so after you download both of those applications, open up your MSI Afterburner, and this is what you're gonna see on your screen. You're gonna see this window that has all these crazy doodads and all this shit, okay? Don't freak out. I'm gonna explain every single part of this. So just pay attention to the video and don't click anything unless I tell you to click it. So first off, you're gonna wanna click this K button right here. And this is gonna open up the combustor application that we downloaded. This application is going to be running a stress test on your computer, okay? And it's, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up this run stress test and you can minimize it a little bit um and just move it off to the side here so we got the stress test running on the left side and we have our uh msi afterburner on the right side so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be upping the power limit percentage and the temperature limit percentage all the way up now this isn't a crazy move this isn't something that whoa like this guy's making big ballsy moves no this is you need to turn these up this isn't risky to your computer so don't worry about you know you know, the whole computer exploding all right so just turn up the power limit percentage all the way up and the temp limit all the way up remember guys this is for every single gpu so in every single case you should be turning this power limit percentage and the temp limit up all the way as far as possible as far as it will go regardless of what gpu you have you're also going to want to adjust this fan speed so you're going to want to click this a button and you want to up this to, I say 70, you can go from like 50 to 100. Once you start getting past 70, your fan starts getting pretty loud. So I would, I like to keep it at 70. It keeps my computer cool, um, but you can fluctuate it between 50 and 100. So after you have set your power limit, your temp limit and your fan speed, you're gonna wanna click the check mark, all right? And when you do this, you're gonna hear your fan, your computer speed up. You're gonna hear um, just, you know, your computer's gonna be moving a little bit faster because the fan speed's going, all right? That's when you know that this is working, okay? So now we're gonna be moving on to this core clock setting here. And what you're going to do is regardless of your GPU, you're gonna wanna go up in increments of 20 at the start i would say so you're always going to want to do just the core clock first so so what we're going to do is we're going to input 20 we're going to we're going to press check we're going to let the combustor run for a little bit make sure that the computer can handle this core clock as you can see the core clock has gone up slightly so it's running well it's running well so so we're going to now change it up to 40. so we're going to go up in increments of 20 all right once you get past around 50, I would say go up in increments of 10. You're gonna keep going up. What I would do is go up until this display adapter, this combustor breaks, okay? It's it's gonna turn off on. And when the, when the combustor turns off on you, that's when you've reached your core clock limit. Now this isn't dangerous to your computer. You're kinda, you kinda need to get to that point to realize what the limit is. So it's, it's not gonna hurt your computer in any way. You're gonna keep going up until either the gate the combustor starts buckling a little bit freezing stuff like that or it just completely shuts off which will probably happen in that case you know so for me a good number for me is 120 okay i the thing is i can go up to about 135 before it just completely breaks so why are you asking why don't I put it to 130? And that's because this stress test is very forgiving. While the stress test might not break, you could jump into the game that you play, Warzone, whatever that, and the game will instantly crash. So if you're if you're gonna comment down below, I you know set it to the highest possible. The stress test is working, but now my games crash. That is your answer right there. You need to set it a little bit lower than what you think is the is the correct limit. So. So, like I said, the it, the one the, at 135, it runs a stress test fine. But I jump in Warzone and my whole computer will crash. Okay, so I like to set it 15 below what it works at. You could set it 10 below what it works at and see what works. But I just like to set it 
10 below just to be safe just to make sure that my games don't crash none of that okay so once you've got this core clock limit uh, running and it runs well and the you let the stress test run it, no crashing nothing happens now you can move on to the memory clock the memory clock you're not going to be wanting to move it up as much as your core clock so you're going to want to do um you want to go up in increments of 10 so you're just going to slowly add increments of 10 hit the check mark and let the stress test run over and over again the same concept as before okay if if it at any time crashes you're going to want to make sure you lower it and then once you've got it stable, lower it just a little bit lower than that to make sure that none of your games crash at all. You're run, you're using your GPU safely and you're not gonna have any issues going forward. So as you can see here, I'm, I'm going up by increments. Everything's working out fine. This number is usually gonna be a little bit less than your core clock. And it's not always the case, but in this case, it is for me as well. I, I, go, up to, I go up to around 80 and then I have some troubles. So after about 80, I have trouble. So I'm going to set it to 80 and I'm going to click the check mark. Now for the, the core voltage, you're not going to want to mess with the core voltage at all. Okay, don't mess with the core voltage. I'm going to say it one more time. Don't mess with the core voltage. Don't mess with the core voltage. So as you can see here, now my GPU is is overclocked. I've checked. I've hit the check button. It works. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the save button so that we save this preset. And we're gonna set it to one so that this is the preset. And you're gonna wanna go up here to the right and you're gonna click this Windows uh, button here. And this will apply at Windows Startup. So what, what this means is when your computer restarts, it'll have these overclock settings already running. You won't have to go in here and do this manually every time. So make sure you hit that button. After that, you're done. You can go try out your games. You're going to have an increase in FPS. I mean, it, you will have, you will see, you know, a 20 to 30% increase in FPS in GPU intensive games like, you know, Warzone, games like Counter-Strike, stuff that's very CPU intensive. You're not going to see as much, but this is a very good tool. It's 100% free, works with every graphics card, and this is exactly how you should do it. So just as a recap, power limit percentage all the way up, temp limit all the way up, fan speed 50 to 100 depending on your preference, core clock, you're going to be going up by 20s, once you get to around 50, start going up by 10s, once it breaks, the, the stress test breaks, you're going to want to lower it back down to a reasonable level. The memory clock, same thing, but you're going to go up in increments of 10 because it, 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 it's usually going to be a little bit lower than your quark clock in terms of how much you're changing it. If you guys need any help at all, drop a comment down below. I will answer any question that anyone has. If you just want to shit on me, say I look like a dumbass, that's fine. Go for it. Every comment helps me. So have a great day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you around.